G'day guys, this is Graeme from the Lake Grace Rubbish Tom. He's a manager. So we're sorting out a deal for scrap metal and look at this. Bloody bobtail lizard guys. Poor thing, it's actually still alive. And it's stuck in this bitumen. Oh, that's awful. So we're gonna try and rescue these guys. And I'll take a photo of it and then we'll try and get the poor thing out. But so we've been sitting here for days. So we'll give it a go guys. Hold on. You just hold that mate, just yeah. you Yeah, and you just hold it like that. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and get it out. Okay. So oh, I'm yeah. just gonna try and rescue it now guys. Oh fuck. Jeez, it's in Oh poor thing. How long has that been there? Do you, I've got a screwdriver in the Probably won't survive, but Is it ripping the stomach apart, is it? Or not? Well, I think it has, isn't it? Hey, is that its stomach or not? God! Yeah, it's... It's weighing and... That won't survive, eh? Look at that, guys. It's still alive. I do a lot of this stuff. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. animal rescues. Yeah? Yeah, can't try. Mm. I see them injured. Oh. Hit you. I reckon it should be alright. Mm. But I'll take it home and we'll try and work out how to take that tail off. We'll be in hot soapy water. Guys, mm. the bobtails there, we're going to take that home tonight. And I'm going to try and get rid of all that tar um, from the detergent. Uh, use detergent, hopefully. And anyway, Paul told me off of grabbing scrap metal. He's only just started here, guys. So I uh, usually I get all my stuff for free. It won't stop me. But anyway, I've just brought this off him, a big, huge aluminium um, corrugated tube thing for $40. And also, same, this one here. So hopefully, I should make a profit. So I'm just going to get my angle grinder out, cut it up, and we'll put it in the back of the trailer. So, we'll get well, going, guys, guys. I am back home now, and I'm just about to start taking off this tar. He's still alive, but... I'm unsure if I'm going to be able to save him. So anyway guys, I've got some warm soapy water here and we're going to take off all this tar just with my fingers, picking it all off. He's got bits of string stuck to him and or bits of stick, uh, twigs and so forth. So we'll see how we go guys. So that's the bottom of him guys. And so we're just going to remove all of that tar off him. Luckily his bum or his anus is still okay, it's not got no tar on it. As soon as I pulled him out, guys, he had a good poo and he's still going. 
But anyway guys, we're gonna take all that tar off him and give him a good feed and hopefully he'll survive. So, so I've got some warm water here fellas and the tar is loosening up really really well. The bobtail is moving but he's very sick. He's probably been sitting in that tar probably for I reckon well over a week. Who knows. But anyway he's foot here with my fingers just wiggling there. That's all stuck to his body. But this warm water guys will warm him up because he's a warm blooded reptile. I mean sorry he's a cold blooded and this warm water will give him some energy and just get his blood circulating again luckily his bum is not covered in tar so he can still do a poo and stuff he's already been pooing so we'll get going guys and hopefully we'll be able to save him alright just got to get this water at the right temperature guys so it doesn't burn him He's definitely moving, so which is good. You can just see how this tar is coming off, just like chewing gum, really, really easy. And he's making noises. And his legs becoming really, really free now, which is great. And once we get all this free guys, we'll give him a feed. I've got some banana, so he'll like banana or maybe an egg yolk or something like that. Just going to get this water the right temperature. So before, this leg here is currently stuck, but that'll come off. It's right there, it's stuck in the tar. But anyway, we'll work on this one first. There's a big tree twig. Here it comes. Poor thing. These can live for quite a few years, guys. Look at that. Nice big piece of tar. So he's going to be very, very happy when I finish with him, hopefully. It's getting a bit too hot, that water. see that tar is starting to come off now really really easy just got a big twig and you see that twig there poor thing so he's getting some energy now because he's starting to move quite a lot he's starting to twist around just see that twig there I don't know what that's stuck Look at that, the back of his neck, all covered in tar, guys, like the whales and dolphins and stuff when they get caught in the oil slicks. Here it comes. Oh, he's got some energy now. He's that, he's that tar, look at that. That's a tr tree twig stuck to him. There's a big lump of tar stuck right underneath his jaw. He's exhausted. So hell he's got stuck in this tar guys. Someone's throwing out a big drum of 
tyre and he's just been walking along the road and he's ended up just walking to that tower and be becoming stuck in it. Just see that. It's coming off pretty good. See that tire right there? Yuck. Poor thing, come on. 